as the Danes celebrate the centenary of their football association. Peter Shilton sets a new English record. His 109th cap presentation made by Dick Bragg, the chairman of the International Committee. There are five changes in the Danish side compared with Wembley in September. And like England, a marked change in their fortunes since then. One defeat in eight games, and in their last game here, they scored seven times against Greece. As a recall for Ivan Nielsen in defence, the first cap in midfield for 20-year-old Henrik Riesem, and the now drop up front is the younger brother, Brian. The German-based players were not considered. Bobby Robson brings back David Rocastle in midfield with the plan to give Barnes and Waddle one half each. Paul Parker is in for the injured Gary Stevens, but Tony Dorigo has to wait again as Stuart Pearce has recovered from a bruised ankle to keep his 100% record for the season. Not the best of passes from Ivan Nielsen. Robson. Useful ball to Gary Lineker. And the referee says play off. And Gary Lineker cannot believe it. Kent Nielsen went in for the challenge. And Gary Lineker cannot believe that the Dutch referee didn't give him the penalty. This is Lineker. Webb took it well. Lineker, onside. Goal number 29 for Gary Lineker. One of the easiest he scored. Goals in consecutive matches. And it was really started by Rocastle when he first won the ball. But Webb set up the whole thing. And Lineker got away. They are bidding for offside, but the linesman absolutely level keeps his flag down. And England have the lead. I must say, there seem to be so many players offside here that it's not true. But the linesman says, OK, well, we lost one. We may have gained another. Lars Olsen. Laughter up to Ivan Nielsen. That's well played, and that's a very, very good tackle by Walker. Ivan Nielsen got forward well, and it was a good ball that he played through. Good control from the big man, through the legs of Butcher. And the cover tackle was superb. Lathrop, back again to Olsen. It's a good play by the Danes, and uh, Olsen had continued his run. And he's away from Brian Robson. It's a good attack all the way through, and it brings applause from the Danish bench. And not surprisingly, from all the crowd here in the Edelax Parken. Left foot, there was room for the shot. And it was cleanly past Peter Shilton. England are going to bring David Seaman on. 64 and a half minutes just passed on the clock. And the record man leaves the field for great applause. Peter Shilton, 109, needs 10 more to equal Pat Jennings. And if England go to the World Cup, he may well do that. The World Cup finals, that is. Standing ovation from those on the England bench and from the Danish crowd. And David Seaman of Queen's Park Rangers gets his second chance in the England goal. The first was against Saudi Arabia. This could be rather more testing. Chest. Pierce. I'm not sure Seaman would appreciate the touch. The Danes moved up. Not quite all together then, trying to catch England offside. This is Bull. 
Free kick is against Ball, whose follow-up wasn't appreciated by Bartram. over keenness I don't think it was any more than that but there was a certain amount of holding and when he got up well to be fair it was a clear foul Bartram Alstrup goes for the return gets it Myron Loudrup on the left Walker with him The great purpose by the newcomer. Looked as though it was gone. Seaman could have been embarrassed by that. Waddle. Good save. And he loses it. McMahon. Unable to hold it in to Daniel So. And a bit of cheek by Waddle, very nearly catching the Danes. Schmeichel did well to parry, but then had the fortune. Helt. Asmussen wants the ball diagonally forward. He's not going to be given it, at least not yet. Laudrup. Chased by McMahon. Laudrup shot. What a good try. I say it's good to see a player of undoubted class, showing again his true form. Stadium clock has gone past the 90 minutes, and the referee brings the match to an end. England have an unbeaten season for the first time under Bobby Robson, and for the first time for 14 years, when Don Revy achieved that feat. I think an entertaining match, and it ends at Denmark 1, England won.